Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Logic Pro 9 quick tip on how to set up submixes. If you're not familiar with uh, what a submix is, it's a way for us to send the outputs of multiple tracks, say uh, all of our drum tracks here, or maybe all of our guitar tracks, uh, to a single auxiliary track, and then we can control the volume and the pan and uh, add plugins to control the mix, the submix, I should say, of that entire group of instruments. The way this is done is with a bus. If you don't know what a bus is, it's essentially just a virtual path through which an audio signal can travel. So what we're going to do in this uh, demonstration is I'm going to create a submix out of all of my drum tracks here. And you can just uh, select all of them by dragging below the bottom of the channel strip. And by the way, I should mention I have a full mix here. I have guitar, bass, vocals, uh, and synthesizers, as well as the drums. So, uh, and this is a live drummer too. This, uh, so I've got cymbal, overhead cymbals, I've got a kick and snare that have been uh, replaced with samples, and then all my toms. So what we're gonna do is uh, first I'm going to select all of these tracks. And the way I'm gonna do this is drag, again, drag below the bottom of the channel strip and then go up and it selects them all. And if I move one fader on uh, this group of faders here, all of them will move now. But that's not really what we want to do. We want to route these to an aux track so that we don't have to do it this way. Uh, but first, let's uh, listen to what we have going on back here. And remember, I have a whole session back here. So uh, let's listen to just what the, uh, just what the drums sound like. All right, so that's what the drums sound like. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is uh, we're gonna select all these tracks again because we want to assign them all to the same bus. And the way we assign the output of each track to a bus is you just go up to uh, where it now says stereo output, the bottom uh, little uh, tab here, and you click on that, go to bus, and we're going to choose one of our available buses. Now, buses one through three, and I know you can't see one and two because it's off the screen. Uh, but buses one through three are all used. So let's use bus four and you can see that uh, now the output of all these tracks is going to bus four and there's no need to keep these soloed anymore. And what's happened is Logic has automatically created an auxiliary track for us. It's named it aux four. So let's rename that to drum mix. And as you can see in the input section here, uh, this aux track is receiving bus four. So it's receiving what these other tracks uh, were outputting. So one of the advantages here is I can solo this aux track, and if I hit play, uh, this aux track is going to receive the sum of all, all of those other seven audio tracks. So let me show you this. All right, so one of the other things we can do is we can pull the volume down here and control the volume of all those tracks simultaneously. We can also add plugins to the aux track and those plugins will affect all of the seven tracks routed to this aux track. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.